Hello everyone, we are the Acme Lab out of Temple University. We study molecular evolution and we have created a software package called HiFi. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. Um, something very interesting that we're gonna learn about today is that we can actually run HiFi locally. Uh, we do have a site called DataMonkey where you can run any of these methods on your data. This is fantastic. However, as a user, you're limited to 500 sequences that you can upload at once. So there's a very nice alternative where you can actually download the HiFi package itself and run it locally. So today, that's what we're going to go through. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get the HiFi software. And it's on GitHub. So as you see here, it's github.com forward slash veg forward slash HiFi. And what we need to do is um, go right here to this check. The first thing we can do is check this out. So it, the default is the master branch and that, that's fine and great. That's, that's going to suit most of our needs. We'll have another tuto video tutorial on how to actually change versions of GitHub using Git. But for now, we're going to just stick with the master branch. What we want to do is hit this clone or download button. And oh, before I, before I move too far along, if this looks a little overwhelming, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. This is um, there. There's a very nice documentation here. Read through all this if you feel like you um, want to get a better understanding. This is very step by step. This is this is all good. Don't be afraid. So what we want to do first is clone or download. You can either click this clipboard or you can highlight these this text right here. So just copy that navigate to your terminal and I'm going to say git clone and then paste the link that we have. And I'm going to name this um, HiFi uh, demo. We'll call this HiFi demo. And so what's going to happen is you see we're going to clone that repo right into a directory called HiFi demo. And this might take a second or two, but that's okay. It'll it'll keep it'll crunch through. Looks like our um, repository cloning has gone successfully. So if I just type ls, you see that HiFi demo, which is the directory that we were cloning into, has successfully been cloned. So what we want to do is cd into HiFi demo, and then what we want to do is cmake that directory. So we just simply type cmake dot. It's going to compile some things, and that's fine and great. And okay, great. So it looks like that was written. Um, build files have been written to and that full path. Okay, remember that full path. That's gonna come back in handy. So what we're gonna do now is just simply type, um, I'm gonna clear my screen and type make. Okay, great. So it looks like it says built target HiFi 100%. So now what we can do is we can actually test to see um, if we can use HiFi. So what we need to do is go back one directory and simply type HiFi demo. This is the directory that we cloned into and the target that we want is HiFi. And now remember I said that lib path is very important. So we're going to set a lib path here. And the reason that the lib path is so important is that you can change whatever version of HiFi you want to run. And you, you do that essentially by changing this lib path variable. So what you can do is, is set a different lib path where that you want HiFi to run from, uh, you know, an older version of HiFi, a newer version of HiFi, whatever the case may be. But this, this full path, this explicit path says, Hey, look, HiFi, I want you to run on all the batch files in this from this particular directory. So that's very important. And if, if you're running HiFi for the first time and you're running into some some um, some errors, check your lib path because 95% of the time that's probably what's going on. And it's, it takes five seconds to do it. So without further ado, let's do that. So mine is users, my name, desktop, um, and then HiFi test forward slash oops 
hi-fi demo forward slash res okay great so now you see that hi-fi version 2.5.14 was installed on my computer okay and and if you want to get out of this window you can just press um control c um and great so now let's let's see what our options are so if i type hi-fi demo forward slash hi-fi dash dash help so say we want to know we want to learn a little bit more about the project itself oh and you know what really helps to pipe that into less and so here you, we have a there's very nice documentation here as a new user i highly suggest going through this information checking out what each of the flags mean how to run the, um hi-fi more efficiently this is very useful this you know these these this is very well curated and it is worth your time to just check through it make sure you understand how things are you know supposed to work and all that fun stuff so go ahead it, it, it's worth it this is a this documentation is actually very useful um you know a standard that we're trying to that we're trying to set in the field okay so now let's say we actually want to run one of these methods that are available to us as a user um, let's say we have a code unaware multiple sequence alignment of a particular open reading frame in the SARS-CoV-2 genome. And what we want to do is detect if there's been any positive episodic selection happening in this particular region. So meme is a fantastic tool to use for this. And actually you can read this paper right here if you want to learn a little bit more about it. So this is a tool that will detect for positive episodic uh, selection within a codon aware multiple sequence alignment. So we'll navigate back to our terminal. I'm just gonna hit up a few times. Okay, perfect. So if I wanna unleash the power of meme, there we go. It's right at our fingertips. Okay, we have meme right at our fingertips. So um, what I wanna do here now is select our tool and then it needs some keyword arguments. So as I mentioned, we need an alignment, which is a codon aware multiple sequence alignment. We need a tree file, which I built using RaxML. Um, you can use a, a neighbor joining tree. You can use whatever tree you want, but it has to be a tree. Um, and then you can also set some other uh, keyword arguments, which we are going to, that are very helpful that we're gonna utilize. So one of them is going to be a particular branch to test. And then another one is going to be the output where we wanna send our data. Okay, so the first thing, I, as I mentioned, we need an alignment argument and that is in data. This is the code on aware multiple sequence alignment. We have a tree argument, which again is here. And this is our RaxML best tree. We have a dash dash branches and I wanna test the internal branches of our tree. And then we have an output keyword argument, which is really helpful because we can say, hey, send all these results to data um, we'll call this, uh, you know, uh, SARS-CoV-2, SARS-CoV-2 meme results dot JSON. Then we just hit enter and the whole thing rocks and rolls. So, you know, you have a little bit of information here and you'll see that th this code itself is just going to run and it runs fairly quickly. So, um, this and, and don't worry you don't need to pipe this to an output or whatever since we had our output file since we use that keyword argument all this information will be sent to that output file um it's also important to mention here we can actually run these data on separate partition uh partitioned files so if you if you detect um recombination and you have separate partitions within a code unaware multiple sequence alignment, meme will actually run on all the different partitions in your file. Um, so, okay, this is great. So you see here, found two sites under episodic diversifying positive selection. Um, so as I mentioned before, all our data is here. However, we also have our data in a JSON, in JSON format. So let's uh, navigate back to Hi-Fi Vision. And what I wanna do, let me make this a little bit bigger for everybody. Um, I'm going to move myself down and what I want to do here is click load and then I'm going to go to my desktop and our hi-fi test 
And what I want to do is boom right here. SARS CoV-2 meme results JSON. So I'm going to open up these. Oh, well, I need the right tool first. I'm not looking at contrast file. I'm looking at meme. And this is, a, yeah, that's important. We, you can look at any of these results. So if you run any of these analyses, you have an associated results page where you can look at your data. So as you can see, meme, I'm looking at meme right here. Um, let me load my. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load our um, our meme JSON. So SARS-CoV-2 meme results JSON. I'm gonna open that up and boom, here you go. So here is the, this is the code on aware multiple sequence alignment that we actually put in. Uh, you can tell that there were 18 sequences with 276 sites that were tested and two of the sites were positive, were found evidence of positive episodic diversifying selection. So this is great. We now have a way to visualize the actual data that we're seeing. Um, here, we let's scroll down the page a little bit. We have a table and you can orient your data however you want. So if you wanna you know, look at p-value, there's an option for that. If you want to look at your non-synonymous substitution rates, you can look at that. Your synonymous substitution rates, you can look at that. So these are all the sites that mean tested for um, the positive selection. And these are, as I mentioned before, here are the different partitions. So if you had, you know, a file with three partitions, you would test each site for each partition. Meme would test that. Um, moving down a little bit. So here's our site plot. So again, our alpha value, which if we go back up here, it's just our, our synonymous substitution rate. So you can orient your table based on uh, synonymous substitution rate, non-synonymous substitution rate, p-values, um, however you want. And this is very nice because these are all the sites that are in our alignment. All of the sites are right here. And you can see what's going on at each site. So this is where things get kind of fun because if you had a functionally annotated sequence, you could say, oh, well, you know, here's where there's a lot of synonymous site, uh, synonymous rate substitution going on however you want to use these data here's the tree that we um that that was put in and here is some uh model fitting on all that good stuff all this fun information which if you want to learn more go read on that paper there's a all of this is explained in the paper um so yeah this is this is just a very useful way to run a test check your results visualize the results and this was less than 10 minutes from downloading the hi-fi software to actually having some really informative results given a you know given a little hypothesis um this is where things get really fun and the power is all at your fingertips as a user so if you really like this video you know leave a like uh comment comment what other tools you would like to see what other um hi-fi software you would like a little tutorial on we have a uh a twitter page um go ahead follow us there the link will be in the description below and uh yeah happy uh happy computing thanks